In today's video, I'll be doing a review of Claude 3's latest large language model, which is called Opus. This is said to be the most powerful large language model from Claude and a direct rival and competitor of GPT-4 Turbo. So let's go ahead and write some content and test the output quality to see how it stacks up against other large language models like GPT-4 Turbo. Now, I'll actually be using the API to generate content. If you're in a country like I am, which is Canada, and you don't have access to um, upgrading to Claude Pro to be able to get access to Claude Opus, then you can simply go ahead and use the API. So let's say, for example, I wanted to use or subscribe to Pro. As you can see, I cannot subscribe because I'm in Canada, but what you can do is you can head over to anthropic.com slash API and click get started. And then you can go ahead and you can start prompting with Claude and you'll have access to the model switcher, which allows you to choose in between Claude models. And as you can see, Opus is available and you'll be charged based on how many API calls you do. So it actually works out to be a little bit cheaper um, if you're not writing a bunch of content and you'll have full access to Claude 3 Opus. And you also have some more customized features like using the temperature settings and the max token settings so at the beginning when you're starting to write content it can look a little bit daunting but it's actually very very easy to use so let's go ahead and start a new prompt and as you can see it will be a blank screen so I recommend using my SEO master prompts. I'll leave a link for these prompts in the description below today's video. And wherever you see system prompt, this prompt allows you to write SEO optimized content. Then what you can do is you can just go ahead and copy over the prompt right and then we're going to paste it into claude 3 opus and we're going to paste that into the system prompt right so wherever wherever it says system prompt that's where we're going to paste our system prompt and this pretty much just tells the ai how we actually want to write our content now now that we have our system prompt we can then insert our prompt for outline so again what i'm going to do is i'm going to enter that within the user section here remember because remember this is our system prompt so this is going to be our user section and this is where now we can insert the keyword for the blog post in which we would like to write about and now that we have our prompts included and we have our topics we can then run this prompt and as you can see here it will give us the response on the right hand side here and it's going to give us a response in two different formats once it starts writing it's going to be text and also markdown so we can simply copy that over and convert it into markdown so as you can see we are generating our title first and our outline so our title is how to start and grow an ai consulting firm we had an intro understanding the ai consulting landscape understanding the ai consulting landscape creating your ai consulting business plan establishing your ai consulting firm marketing delivering exceptional ai consulting services scaling and so on so as you can see we are getting a pretty comprehensive outline while that's being written i'm actually going to go ahead and copy over a prompt for the full article so this is our prompt for the full article um, you can copy over that full prompt if you are including internal links but for this example we are not so what i'm going to do here now it's, instead of now going ahead and pasting my content what i want to do is i want to add this outline to our conversation so the ai essentially will be able to know that it needs to use this information within the content so i'm going to paste it in my prompt now which already tells it to use this outline above and i forgot to mention we can actually do some customizations on the left hand side here so we can increase the max tokens so essentially the higher this amount the longer the output should be we can also increase our temperature the higher this number the more creative the outputs will be the lower the number the more predictable the outcomes would be so i like to keep this pretty low because i don't really want to get too much creative content especially if i'm writing about um you know topics like how to start and run an a AI consulting firm or topics where I don't need to be necessarily creative, right? If you are writing poetry and things of that nature, then maybe you can increase the temperature settings. So now that we have our prompt here, this is our prompt for our full article. We don't necessarily need to change anything here, except I'm going to tell it not to write anything individually. Uh, I'm going to tell it to just write the full article or just so that we can save some time here. So here's our prompt. We're going to hit run. And as you can see here, now it's going to start writing the full article on the right hand side here. So essentially the process is the same. It's just the, the interface is a little bit different compared to using the playground mode. But again, as you can see here, we're getting pretty good content. Um, if I had to compare this to GPT-4 Turbo, I would say that I like the formatting from Claude. I've always liked it a lot better compared to OpenAI. Uh, they give you a lot more 
lists they give you a lot more tables and the content is much much more easier to read compared to jupyter 4 turbo jupyter 4 turbo is still really really good and it gives you pretty good content but it's a little bit inconsistent at times while claude does a really good job at being consistent in the output how it looks how scalable or sorry how scannable it is and how easy it is to read so let's go ahead and let claude finish up and then we'll take a look at the full article Okay, so this is the first article in which we got back. It seems to be pretty short. So about 856 words, which is kind of comparable to GPT-4 as well. Usually when we're writing um, content with GPT-4 Turbo, that's usually the amount of content in which we get back. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna add this to the conversation. So this is the first article, and now I'm gonna tell it to expand the article. Aim for 2000 words. I also found that Claude listens to instructions a little bit better when it comes to uh, numbers like if, if i tell it to write 2000 words usually it listens to those instructions compared to uh, gpt4 turbo so we're gonna let claude do its thing and then we're going to uh, go ahead and read the full article once it's finished okay so this is the full article in which we get back as you can see it is really really long it is about well 1700 words which is not bad um, but it kind of stopped writing here so i think i can tell it to continue writing and it should continue writing let's see let's hit run yep so it actually does continue writing so if it stops then you can just simply add it to the conversation and hit continue writing the content is finished writing so now let's go ahead and convert it into markdown format so again we're going to just copy that over paste it into our markdown to html converter Okay, so this is the full article. As you can see, we did get some internal links, or sorry, some external links as well, which is really, really good. In terms of the quantity, this is 2,100 words, which again, I think is pretty good. And let's go ahead and paste this onto a document so we can see what that looks like. So here's the full article, how to start and grow an AI consulting firm. Um, overall, it seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and double check these links. Okay, so these links do work. So these external links, uh, do work from Claude, which again is a really, really good sign. GPT-4 Turbo is not the greatest when it comes to um, using links. So overall, I would say that this is good. Obviously, you'd have to go ahead and read through it. I like that it's very, very skimmable, as I mentioned earlier. There's a lot of lists, a lot of tables, um, which makes things easier to read. But overall, I would say it's just a matter of preference as to which tool you like better. I find that for some topics, Claude may be better compared to GPT-4, while on other topics, GPT-4 Turbo may be better than Claude. It really is dependent on your niche, so I recommend using these two tools for yourselves to see which one you actually um, you actually like better. I'll probably be doing a more in-depth comparison between the two tools, but for this video, I wanted to do a walkthrough to show you how to use Claude, how to use my prompts with Claude um, to get the best possible outputs. So for fun, I went ahead and scanned this into originality.ai. It did come back as 0% original. Plagiarism, it did pass plagiarism. Readability, 32.9, which is pretty good. And also, if you'd like to try out my newly released AI writing tool, which is called wordrocket.ai, it is a content writing tool which allows you to write articles and blog posts really, really quickly using AI. You can use your own API key from OpenAI, and there's a free plan which allows you to use it for uh, completely free and try it out for yourself. So if you want to check out WordRocket, I will leave a link for it in the description below today's video. But overall, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.